director of the Harness Family Success Center. The Family Success Center has been around in Flemington for about seven years now. The goal is to prevent child abuse and neglect, offering families a welcoming space to come to. Here we have, in the last three or four years, received help from the Friendly Sons for over 300 individuals. They have prevented the eviction, prevented foreclosures, they have paid for oil deliveries, they have prevented the shut off of electric bills. They've moved people from Bloomsbury to Flemington so that jobs, can, they could be closer to jobs. They've done an incredible job for our families over and over again. There's one a story that I'd like to talk to you about. There um, was about two years ago that I received a call from a 47-year-old woman. She had worked in the same organization from the time she was 19 years old. She found out two weeks before uh, that her job had, was ending. She also found out that she had a diagnosis of breast cancer. She had been doing everything that she thought was right. She went on unemployment, and then from unemployment, she applied for disability. Well, at all this time, she was receiving chemotherapy treatments. When she reached out to disability, they told her that she could not get assistance from them until after she had the surgery. She had gone through unemployment, she had gone through her loss twice of our time in public speaking, so bear with you guys. Okay, so for everybody who doesn't know me, I'm Bridget, I'm Kevin's oldest daughter, and I want to thank you guys all for having me tonight. Um, I think it's a great idea to have the daughters introduce their fathers because nobody knows a father better than their daughter, good and bad, dad. Um, <laughs> Clearly, I'm standing up here tonight introducing him as the Grand Marshal because most of you probably think he's a pretty good guy. I'm kind of biased, but I really agree. Before I get started, I also have to say congrats to my second dad, Bernie Gallagher. Um, for those of you who don't know, his daughter Kelly and I are best friends and we were college roommates, so if everybody wants to take a second and say a quick prayer for the two of them, because we're probably the reason for every gray hair on their head. Anyways, I'm here to offer you guys a perspective of my father that not all of you guys can see. For 24 years, I have been lucky enough to call that man my best friend. Since I was little, please don't cry because I'm gonna cry too. <laughs> Since I was little, we have always had an awesome relationship. And as I've gotten older and grown up, it's only gotten better and I have truly learned to appreciate everything that he is. My dad has always been my number one fan, especially on the sidelines of every single game and every single sport I've ever played in my entire life, which if you know him is a lot because the man loves sports. I grew up with him as my coach. Even when he technically wasn't the coach, he couldn't help himself from saying something on the bleachers of every single game. His lectures after a loss on the car ride home always met me, made me a better player in person, although I was very relieved when I got my license and I can drive home in silence. Sorry, Dad. My dad loves to tell people about how I made him promise me never to learn the rules of field hockey so he couldn't yell at me from the sidelines during the game, but he couldn't help himself. Demetrio, formerly Michelle Gallagher, the second of Bernie's four children. I thank you all very much for coming today for having me and Bridget speak on behalf of Bernie and Catherine. Um, different people may know my dad in different ways. However, but, however, everybody knows that Bernie has an extended belief in the Irish culture. My family is lucky to know a side of him that most people don't. As a husband, a father, a grandfather, I'm pregnant. <laughs> no, don't, just let me. <laughs> So I'm going to cry for the little thing. Um, grandfather, soon to be blue. two. She's wearing blue, so I'm going to guess four. <laughs> An uncle, 
With four, four kids, our mom, Debbie, and, and him had a huge obstacle of providing us all with the same love and attention as the other. He always managed to do this while coaching softball, baseball, soccer teams, and helped with the destination imagination events. He moved all four of us into our college dorms every single year, um, in every apartment or home that we've, we've moved into afterwards. He continues to help us paint our homes, fix our appliances, um, change our car brakes, um, mulch our yard, and even comes running over when I'm scared because I think the smoke detector is going off and my husband's not. Here.